Hayes County has been trying to get a public defender's office for three years now, and currently court appointed attorneys are assigned cases. Some say they didn't hear, though, from their attorneys for months. KXA and Sarah Alshea shares now why so many say that office is desperately needed. I spent 30 months, 30 months in jail for something I didn't do. When I say frustrating, that's an understatement. Back in 2019, Miles Martin says he was charged with burglary. While in the Hayes County Jail, Martin says nearly a year would go by before he'd get updates on his case from his court-appointed attorney. He ended up going to trial and was found innocent. But the two and a half years he spent waiting is time he says he can't get back. My uncle passed away. I couldn't go to his funeral. My relationship with my kids can't really come back from there. My daughter was two when I got arrested. Now she's five. Right now, like Martin, Hayes County inmates do not have the option for a public defender. Licensed attorney Erica Galleon says she's seen firsthand the difference they make. You have that opportunity to pick at different brains, to pick at different levels of experience and wisdom that will help you better defend your clients. The Hayes County Commissioner's Court has been working to bring a public defender's office to the county. They selected a firm to run the office, but contract negotiations are still underway. As the county closes in on its negotiations, Galleon Leon says she's eager to bring her experience working at a public defender's office to Hayes County. And Martin says this would bring hope for those still behind bars waiting for their day in court. It'll put people in a better mindset because you got you got a lot of people walk around in jail right now that are just feeling hopeless. Sarah Olshah, KXAN News. And the commissioner's court agreed to take action on the public defender's office at their November 22nd meeting.